Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to TEDx Sharanel. My name is Sanzar Cocker, and I'm the founder of HisabPay. Today, I'm going to be speaking to you about how to grow the economy of Afghanistan. Because a lot of things have improved. Security is better, corruption is down, but we're still facing a very serious economic catastrophe. The economy of most countries is very closely related to many factors, but particularly the velocity of its currency. The faster transactions happen, the more there's circulation of currency in the economy, um, the more the economy can grow, um, and the better it is for economic output. In Afghanistan, unfortunately, transactions are very slow, and money is stopped at every step of the way. For example, people don't invest money in banks, they keep it at home. So the money is not available to banks to invest anywhere else. Even the money that's in banks, banks don't loan it out. When transactions happen, they're almost always in cash, which means people have to physically visit the person that they're paying and pay them cash in hand. There's also costs for transaction, both inside Afghanistan or internationally. All of these costs create hurdles and slow down the velocity of a currency and the velocity of transactions in a specific country. I'll give you an example. Let's say the government wants to pay its employees. They have to figure out how to send money to all the different provinces, to all the different people, and distribute cash to them. That employee then might want to pay its landlord, and it takes a long time for them to decide, all right, when can I meet my landlord? When can I hand him the cash? The landlord might want to send money to his family, and his family might live very far away. And so they have to wait until he visits his family in person or send it through uh, a hawala dealer. The family then, once it has money, will go to a shop to buy goods. The shopkeeper might want to buy more goods, but has to wait until um, he can meet um, um, the trader to form a deal and to pay them uh, cash. The traders then want to buy from a wholesaler. The wholesaler would want to buy from a manufacturer. The manufacturer wants to pay for raw materials. The raw materials importer might want to pay tax back to the government as it comes in. Each of these steps is very cumbersome, slow, and uh, puts a big drag on the economy. Because that one dollar or one Afghani that's distributed from the beginning, it doesn't uh, get all the way through. The effects of it, the multiplier effects, is not translated um, throughout the economy until much, much later. So the faster we can speed up that and let people spend more time earning, working uh, on productive matters, as opposed to wasting time with paperwork and transferring money and trying to meet people to hand over cash and count cash. Um, that's all time that can be spent to grow the economy more. At Isab Pay, we pride ourselves to be able to pay anyone, anywhere, anytime. All you need is their phone number. You can dial their phone number from a smartphone and make a transfer to them instantly. If you don't have a smartphone or internet, you can use a regular um, feature phone just to um, dial star 580 pound and then perform your transactions uh, that way without the need for internet, without the need for a smartphone. If you don't even have a phone, we have Afpay cards which can, which can be distributed to individuals to make their payments um, digitally without cash and at any time. So for anyone in the country, what we're trying to do is to speed up those transactions. In the example that I gave earlier with the government paying employees, if the government wants to, they can pay all 500,000 employees directly to their phones instantly with the clip of a button. The employees don't need to go wait in line for hours and hours or try to cash out um, their money. They get their money instantly, um, uh, immediately uh, on their pay date. The employee might then want to pay his landlord. He doesn't need to wait to see his landlord or wait for a certain time. Once he has a salary, you can just click in one second and transfer the money directly to his landlord's account just by typing his phone number. The landlord then wants to transfer money to his family. Again, one click instantly, one second, he can transfer money to his family anywhere in the country. The family can then immediately go to a shop and take a picture of a QR code or swipe their card uh, to make a payment uh, for those goods instantly. Um, the shopkeeper can pay the trader. The trader then has money to buy more goods from the wholesaler. The wholesaler might be having goods on loan from the manufacturer and paying them only upon 
sale. So you can pay them instantly upon every transaction instead of waiting for the end of the day, the week, or the month. The manufacturer can then pay for raw materials because the more raw materials the manufacturer has, the more goods that they can produce and faster. And the raw materials can then pay their imports duty immediately, instantly, um, upon entry through the borders at customs without having to delay the delivery of goods through the customs that are there. So all of these transactions can just take place in one second, which means in 10 seconds, even if you give them an hour between, that's 10 hours. So in one day, one Afghani ends up being 10 Afghani of benefits for the economy of a country. The faster you can make that cycle, the faster you work through the value chain, the, the faster and easier and cheaper those transactions are, the faster you can grow the economy. So for every one Afghani that's invested, you can get 10 Afghani benefits the same uh, day. Now, if you compare it to the current way where people pay in cash and slowly over a long time, money is being held up. It's not in circulation. It's not being invested. It's not in use. And it's held up all throughout there. And so, I invite you, my fellow Afghans, to join me to help rebuild the economy of Afghanistan. And one way we can do that is to focus on payments, to get money circulating in our economy faster, cheaper, easier. So every payment that you make, whether it's government paying employees, universities collecting tuition, employees paying your landlord, money being sent to family and friends, Families paying shopkeepers, shopkeepers paying traders, traders paying wholesalers, manufacturers, raw materials, taxes, passports, tuskiras, anything that we can make a payment for, we should make it cheaper, faster, and easier through uh, payments using Hisab Pay or other um, digital financial products. If we can increase the velocity of payments, if we can increase the circulation of money, we can dramatically expand the economy and prevent the drag as the money is being held up in multiple places. We can increase investment. We can increase um, uh, the livelihoods of people because uh, the faster they receive money, the more goods that they can buy, the faster they can sell those goods, which means that then they have more profit at the end of the month. Thank you for your time. May Allah protect you and your family. Have a great day.